4th of July is headed our way, and we're thinking of the kiddos here with fun and kid-approved DIY projects from the Invisible Hostess, my girl, Sheena Calso. It's so good to see you good again. good to see you, too. Thank Explain you. Explain Invisible Hostess in case people didn't hear last time. The Invisible Hostess, uh, we are invisible. You get a party, we do all the dirty work. Um, yeah, it's pretty but basic. But you dress like party guests, and you yeah. come in, and you just kind of do things. Yeah, absolutely. Things happen. Yeah. Magic happens. Exactly. Okay, today we're talking about DIY, because obviously, uh, Fourth of July barbecues mm -hmm. include the whole family. Yes. And they include kids, yeah. and we want them to feel like they have something to do. So yeah. let's talk about the table runners and the lanterns yes. to start. Okay, so I want to get my kids involved, um, give them activities that they can do that I don't have to micromanage. Mm -hmm. Also, that's kind of key. I want to enjoy myself as yes. well. <laughs> so kids, you go know, over there and work on this. Go graph, child. So, um, the Midnight Run of Paul Revere. This is the theme of this one. Mm -hmm. um, a little lantern, and it is a stained glass painting craft. It's great for tabletop decor because you actually put a candle in it, it glows. Yep. But it's a really fun project um, that's really simple to do. It, there's glass involved, so depending on the age range, there might need to be some supervision. Yes. But all we did was take out a pane of glass from this. Um, can I hold it up? Please. So you can see it? And I took a Sharpie and I drew my outline of a flame. Then I outlined can you see? it. Yeah, can I see hold that? It where, yeah. Where you can see it. There you go. Then I took my uh, black shirt paint here and I traced the um, flame mm -hmm. to give me my like my faux glass. Right. And then I took, you can get this at a craft store in like the kids section, you can get it probably at even like a Target or something, um, stained glass paint. So once you once it dries, it's transparent. And then you've got this fun lantern that when you light up, on it. Um, it glows from all different angles. It's really fun. And you know, it's a historical and Right, there you, you have go. a little history a little lesson. lesson. Now this looked to me like this was super fun. This was super cute. It's it's the easiest thing we got yeah. here. And it's, little little kids it's, can do this. Yes, exactly. I let my um, my my youngest son just run wild. The key is to get washable finger paint. So it's two <laughs> products. It's a roll of craft paper uh -huh. and washable paint. Because and they might just happen to touch the walls a few times. And it washed off of my cement um, patio, which was key because if you use yeah. like tempera paint or whatever, that is not so washable. Right. So I'll just move this real fast. Okay, so but we, we made a it. little American flag. Look, that is so cute. Yeah. With the the blue and the red, it's that is fun. absolutely it's adorable. It's recyclable by the end of the night. So when you're clean up, it's it's cheap. It's earth friendly. It's all the things. Now I understand you also have some temporary tattoos. Oh, we're gonna be getting some ink done today. Let's do you it. Ready? What do we do? <laughs> so this one, I, I don't know why this is news to me. I felt I thought I knew all the things, but I don't apparently. Um, you see, you learn them and then you teach them to <laughs> exactly. us. So this is good. So uh, you can make temporary tattoos from your inkjet printer at home. You can? Exactly, you can. I know, I was I was shocked and I was so excited. So, all you do is buy them online. Oh, here we go. I've there got are. I got these little uh, thing online. Wow. I found some free clip art on the internet. Benjamin Franklin. Yeah, too cool for British rule is our uh, icon. <laughs> and then you print it on this tattoo uh, paper right here. So you just have like a special paper you put in your In your printer, gym. and that's it. And then you cut it up. You cut it up, and then here is my um, Here's my so you ink. Got it on your arm. Yeah, so how, I did it. How long do you have to leave this on? Oh, it, it, it goes on almost instantly. And then when you peel and it then off, peel, and it just washes off in the shower real fast. In fact, oh, this is so my it's second. that temporary. It is that temporary. So it's it's great because it's not you know peeling and stuck to your kids' faces or whatever forever. Or six weeks. Also, of it. what's really fun about this is if you do like. Um, uh, field games or things like that. We've got teams. You could do team names, numbers. Oh, kids love you that. could do people's faces. I could. I. You know, I should have made a tattoo of your face. Oh, that would have been creepy, <laughs> but that's okay. And I could have put it right there. And it would have been so fun. But yeah, the op op possibilities are endless, and it's just really fun. That's great. Flower crowns. Okay, so I mean they're having a moment. They've yeah. been having a moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's um, very Instagram worthy. It's very Instagramable. So I thought let's you know do headpieces and things like that are fun to wear. But as the sun goes down, I want things to kind of glow and have this like after effect. Wait so, for it, everybody. I know. So I hope it works here. We're in the studios. So there's a lot of light. It, it, we definitely tested this at home. The kids are. They actually are very excited for me to return this because mm -hmm. they were upset they that want I had it. to take it today. Um, but I made a flower crown. Um, you can pre-buy flower what crowns. What is this? Is it this rope? It's just a rope wreath I got at a craft store. Oh, so it's already put together. It like was that. already put together. And then I just hot glued my flowers. And mm -hmm. I got full flowers for the purpose of um, painting on the glow paint. Okay. Um, that I think was important. So then I just painted the edges of my flowers. Important to know because the glow in the dark paint kind of dries a, a hue, like a greenish hue. It uh, you want to paint things that are more white or greenish hued. Otherwise, it looks 
weird. It looks weird. Okay. And then I did that as well as painted um, the tips of the Statue of Liberty crown. So when the lights oh, go down, right. it, it glows. Um, so that's the headpiece part. And those are, it's so easy. It's just getting this paint. And is, what is this like? Does it's, it just, you just put it on with a regular brush? With a regular brush. You could literally paint anything with so it. So you could put it on your you could put it on clothes, flag on you your clothes, put it or whatever on you want. Hats, um, anything you want to have glow when the sun goes down. Um, it, it, this was so easy. It was okay, crazy. we're going to take a look at this in just a in minute. A second, but before yeah. we go that way, then what is got, this? Okay. So I was looking at, I was trying to figure out how, like, how can we get glow sticks involved? Um, if you Google wearable glow sticks, you get, like, a weird, uh, <laughs> like, raves and stuff. And I'm like, well, no, that's not the direction. <laughs> not really a rave not for really the kids. Not really where we're going. No. But um, they said, like, this is great for putting on your clothes. And I thought, that's interesting. So I went in my daughter's closet. She actually mm -hmm. was like, is that my dress? And I go, yeah, shh, be quiet. <laughs> You're going to love this. Um, <laughs> found her dress in the closet. And I made it really easy because it isn't washable once you apply it. So do something that you're okay with like making a temporary situation. And I just hot glued this around her dress to make this awesome like chest piece pattern. And then it's battery operated so as the when the sun goes down, she starts glowing. She can just turn her battery on yeah. and go and for it. And it's bendable. It has different colors. I've got clear. So I've got cute. blue. You could line jeans. You could wrap it around belts. You could do, I mean, it's totally pliable. Now, did you add the little fuzzy I balls? I added the pom-poms just to kind of hide some pom -poms, of the glue. Pom-poms. I called them fuzzy yeah, balls. That's know, probably not the right term. term but to hide the glue. I mean, this is definitely crafty. You could sew and make it more um, permanent. Yeah, but again, then you can't really wash it. Yeah. So I think it's kind of a waste of your time. No, I think you did that right. Yeah. Okay, so let's take the lights so down. The lights go down. Let's see how these things glow in the dark. There go the lights. I know. Go, go. Let's see if we. And Ooh, there oh we go. Oh my gosh, yes. Do we yes. see the crown of the, the flowers? Are we. Are oh, we in, that? in the studio, it's glowing. Oh, there, there we, we go. See. There we see. <laughs> and I'm not sure if the, the flowers if are hard to. Let me see if I can. They're yeah. hard to get. I promise, in, in real life, y'all, Yes, it's Ooh, working. That is very cool. <laughs> that would be good for Halloween, too. And they're, those are your kids, right? Those are my kids, yes. Wearing that's this. them testing them out last night. I love it. Thank you so much. You're These are so excellent welcome. ideas. We'll put it all on the internet. So yes, invisiblehostess.com. Our blog has all the instructions, all the supplies. Perfect. Real easy. Very easy. Thank yeah. you so much. Of course. Happy 4th. Happy 4th of July. Up next, a real-life approach to getting over emotional wounds. We'll be right back to talk about that.